So the piece is essentially looking at kind of how the role of landscape and, and this notion of nature could change with synthetic, synthetic biology in the way that um, there could be a landscape that actually looks like a pristine landscape but in fact could be a factory. So what's interesting is actually this notion of conservationism versus industrialization of nature. For example, you could imagine a situation where there's something that's actually made to look um, almost at the point before humans actually ever saw it, you know, like a perfectly natural thing, but at the same time it's an, it's an intentional thing. It's, this is landscape in a fictitious setting in California and it's kind of made to look like before the Spanish arrived basically, but at the same time they're making rocket fuel. Once this production starts, the kind of like heavy machinery rolls in and the whole thing becomes very industrial. So it's kind of like playing with this idea of invisible technology essentially. It fits in, in this notion of questioning the role of ecology and anthropogenic effects on ecology and where you draw the line between um, culture and nature essentially. You know? So if you intervene on a massive scale, I mean the biggest scale would be geoengineering but then there could be also smaller scales such as the ecological scale and then the question is like haven't we done that already and you know like is agriculture not something like that. Mm -hmm.